Okay, so let's go over some misconceptions about how to use stretching. Now, this one, the, the full body routine myth, is one of the most damaging concepts in stretching today. Um, this idea that you need to stretch everything, and we're going to go through some how to, how to find out which muscles you need to stretch a little bit later. But I, I never recommend that someone do a, a full body stretching routine. Um, even on my books and DVDs, you'll never find a full body stretching routine. What I like to do is I like to create a routine for a very specific purpose. So it might be for a particular injury, or it might be for a particular sport, or it might be for a particular muscle group. But I never just create a routine for everything. Now, <clears throat> Um, so w why is this full body routine such a bad idea? Because uh, most people would think that doing stretching everything is a great idea and I get asked just about every week to, to create a full body routine for someone. So why is it such a bad idea? Well, you see, every muscle in the body or muscle group has an opposing muscle group. They're called an agonist and an antagonist. And it's important to create a balance between these two groups. Now a classic example of the uh, agonist antagonist or opposing muscle groups are the quadriceps in the front of your legs opposed by the hamstrings in the back of your legs. And these two muscle groups create a balance between each other. And when, when they are in balance, everything's fine. Um, another example is, is the biceps and the triceps. So these are opposing muscle groups. Another one is, is the groin inside of your legs and then the outside of your legs. And everywhere in the body you have these agonist-antagonist relationships where they balance out each other. Now, let's again look at that um, example of the spokes in a bicycle wheel. Okay, So before we had the, the bicycle wheel this way. So let's, let's turn that bicycle wheel around like this so that it runs. Okay, everyone with me? And you've got this hub in the middle and the spokes go off the hub up to the rim of the wheel. Now, if you can imagine this side of the spokes or this side of the, the wheel is the agonist and this side of the wheel is the antagonist. So in other words, this side might be the quadriceps and this side might be the hamstrings. Now when they're in balance, the wheel runs nice and smoothly. But what happens if you have tight quadriceps, for example, it'll pull the wheel down like this, okay, and create a wobble in the wheel, obviously. And then the wheel runs out of alignment. So our goal is always to create a balance between these two muscle groups. So here's the wheel, and as I said, so what we're doing is we're creating a balance between each side of the wheel so it runs smoothly and in fact it's actually better to have both muscle groups relatively tight than one muscle group tight and one loose because you pull that wheel out of alignment. So when, when you have one muscle group that is tight it, it pulls the wheel out of alignment and it, again it comes back to balance. And this is why I'm very much against the, 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 the idea of a, of a full body routine or just stretching everything. Because if you do have an imbalance um, where one of the muscle groups is tight, stretching both of those muscle groups will just continue to perpetuate the imbalance. So if, for example, you do have very tight uh, quads and hip flexors and you know, relatively loose in the hamstrings, if you just stretch both muscle groups, you're not going to fix the problem. Okay? So that's why it's so important to be able to self-assess, work out which muscle groups you need to stretch, and then work on those ones.